Hello friends, how are you? Today we are going to start how to send and receive data between ESP8266 and Nexian HMI screen step by step. But before I start, I want to let you know that no need to write anything. I will provide you the Nexian HMI screen and Arduino code and then I will give you the easy Nexian library. No need to write anything, just follow me step by step to know the details about this project. Okay, first of all, I will start with the Nexian HMI screen. As you can see here we have uh, text one text two welcome romega we have the we have a uh, text six as you can see here the name we have text three text four text seven okay so we want to see to send to esp826 uh, text one and text two and then we want to receive from esp8266 the text number three and text number four this is about page one let me move to page this is about page zero let me move to page one so in page one i'm going to send any number as you can see to esp8266 and in the page two we are going to receive any number from esp8266 no worry i will test uh, with you the code step by step no need to write anything i will provide you as i said before the next hmi screen and the library and the arduino code now before i start running this code let's move to the arduino code okay as you can see this is the arduino code this is this is very easy first of all you need to include the library as you can see here there's include is the next library.h after that, you need to define uh, the uh, next next uh, serial and define the loop time. This is the two integer. I will show you later for what we are using this timers. Define data refresh data rate. Okay. Here we have two string text one and text two. We have two integer named read number and write number right. We have a boolean named new page load. No need to modify anything in these parameters. After that, we are going to set the board rate, then the delay, and here you need to write uh, the same uh, three line. Okay, the vo void loop, and here no need to modify anything. This can, for example, run the code every one second. Okay, let me move to the function void first refresh. This void refresh can hold the page number, for example, case 0, page 0, case 1, page 1. No need to modify anything of that. And also here you need to write new page load equal false. Here the target of the two line is to know uh, for which page are currently open on the next HMI screen. No need to modify anything. All you need to modify is starting void refresh page 0. Okay, let me explain here the most important uh, parameter and code. As you can see here, we have text one. Okay, what uh, what is text one? Let me go back. As you can see, text one as defined as string and text two. Okay, let me go. Text one is my next one dot, uh, dot read string. Text one dot txt. Okay, what is this parameter? Let me tell you. First of all, text one is it, it is a uh, simply it is a string equal. I want to read a value from the next one. My next one dot, dot read str. Here you want to get this uh, this parameter t one from next to HMI screen. Let me tell you where. As you can see here. Here I said in the page zero. Okay, let me go to page zero. Okay, a parameter named T1. Go to next one. As you can see, this one name object name T1. Okay, dot txt. You need to put uh, this line twice. So as you can see here, text one. Okay, what is text one? Let me go back. As you can see, text one is defined as string. As you can see here, text one and text two. Let me go. Okay, text one equal my nexium dot read string. This can be used, for example, if you want to read a string from the nexium. And here you want to put the object name of the text that you want to read. Let me show you. For example, I want to read the, the text one T1. As you can see, object name T1. Okay. Uh, for example, if I want also to read the text T2, object name T2. As you can see here, T2. And for example, let's assume that I am going to read the text 6 uh, as object name T6. All you need to, to do is to go to your, uh, to your Arduino code and put, for example, T6 here. Uh, 
and T6 here. But for our project today, I will read, for example, the T2 text. And after that, this is here another parameter for you. For you. for example, if you want to write string, my next thing dot write string T3 dot txt. Again, what is T3? As you can see, T3 is this, this text. As you can see here, object name T3. And here, you all you need to, to write is my next dot write str T3 dot txt. After that, write here, for example, the text that you want to write on the next image of my screen. You can write omega, you can write any text that you want. For example, if you have a sensor value, you can put any string that you want. But attention here, the text here should the value should be a string value, not an integer. Okay. And again, my next stone dot write screen t4 dot txt engineering or eng. As you can see here, this is t4. When I run the code and uh, make the serial communication, I will show you later between the next on you know, my screen and the ESP8266. It, it should show that t3 should hold the value of the, the, the string of Omega and t4, t4 should have the value of engineering or eng. Here and here, I will show you later. Okay, let me continue. Here I want uh, to print uh, for in the serial monitor the value of text one and text two. This is all about the refresh page or about page zero. Let's move to page one. For example, when I open pay when I have currently the page one opened. For example, uh, number read. What is number read? Let me go back. Number read is an integer value. Now I'm converting. No, not I'm converting. I am doing and working with an integer value. Same as before, but now we have an integer, not a string. For example, how, what can I do if I want to read an integer? This is the solution here. Uh, read no, number read, you can put any integer name, not, not a problem. My next sim dot read number and zero dot val. Okay, what is n zero dot val? Let me go to next image my screen. Again, page one here. Okay, so uh, I need to go to page one. This is n zero, as you can see here. I need to put n zero dot val. Okay, for example, let's assume I have another, uh, for example, another uh, number, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. If I want to read no, and the number that, uh, that that has the value or that, ha that has the object name N1, I should put here instead of N0, N1. Simply, this is this. Okay, let me remove this one now. Let me go forward. As you can see, uh, when void refresh page two, so, no, so now we are working with page two let me go to page two receive number from esp8266 so in our esp i should write the number to the next image on my screen okay let me show you as you can see here my next thing dot write number and zero dot val 666 so when the page two is open so the esp8266 will send a value to the to, to the object name and zero okay since I have no code, I have no, no working with page 3 and 4, this is page 3 and page 4, only this is for keyboard and something like that. Now, everything, uh, let me save and compile, no problem, let me go to OSP, now let me uh, tell you something, so before uploading your code, go to tools and choose board uh, node MCU, ESP82, ESP. 12e module okay after that let me tell you where is it for example okay node mcu okay now let's move to the second step now let me uh, upload the code to the esp8266 as you can see here connect the esp to your pc this is the first step. After that, go to your Arduino code, press on tools, as, as I said before, node MCU. After that, press upload. As you can see here, the code is uploading now. Okay, and now this step is done, done uploading as you can see here. Now let's move to the next image my screen. 
uh, press on save compile after that press on file tft output choose the destination that you want now let me put it in the desktop press ok and press output ok now i'll move to my desktop as you can see here next one one.tft after that get your memory card in order to upload the code the next one is to the next one it's my screen or if, if you are using another method to upload the code no worry we'll use whatever you want let me put the memory card in the in my pc as you can see here in my pc put your memory card in your pc as you can see okay let me move back and now press on this file and copy copy go to my my computer or this pc let me remove it and put it again okay as you can see here this file remove the old file okay after that press on past as you can see here then eject your memory card or your sd card after that let me remove this one this one for my my mouse no worry okay let me connect which is the second step now connect this one here and now all you need to do is to remove your memory card from its shield from its adapter okay put it in your next inch my screen like this way after that connect this one in order to upload the code on it as you can see here let me show you update succeed after that unplug your power your power eject this one and let me now do the serial communication between the ESP and the next inch of my screen let me show you that the the blue line represents the TX and the red and the yellow represent represent the RX RX line of the next one as you can see here the blue line is the X so you need to connect the blue line which is the TX to the RX of your Arduino to your ESP8266 with this uh, this is RX the force pin and you need to connect the uh, the yellow line which is the RX of the next one to the TX of your ESP8266 after that you need to connect the ground you need to make the, a common ground between the next HMI screen and the ESP8266 let me bring a wire okay now let me connect the the ground of the ESP to the ground of the next HMI screen which is this one to remove my, my SD card after that remove your sd card as you can see here you should remove the sd card after uploading okay not a problem now give the next a power as you can see here this is my next inch my screen and this is my esp8266 now let me open the serial monitor on the arduino code in order to see the results okay let me as you can see here let me show you as you can see text one is welcome text two is romega this is page zero for example let me change the text here if i press on welcome let me write let me show you let me write for example testing not teething testing now testing n for example as you can see testing n as you can see in the arduino code text one is testing n let me change your omega and the port success for example 
as you can see here test is testing n and success let me move to the second page send number to asp8266 for example let me send a 45 number as you can see here the number is 45 we have currently opening the page one let me move to the second page receive number from ESP8266 for example let me go back to the code and show you what we are sending now let me go back to the page two as you can see here we are sending the value of of 666 which is represented here in the next image of my screen 666 let me go back as you can see here let me go back to the serial monitor we have currently open, uh, opening the page one we are on page one and now we are on page zero and text one is testing and succeed but let me tell you the last things so what is here mega and eng so we have already show you that let me show you that here the text is three which is this one which is this one should get should have hold the value or the string value of or the string character of mecha as you can see here and the text for should hold the value of eng which is presented here so if you want to change to change the text of course you can change it in, inside your arduino code or if you want to send uh, data from asp to the arduino or the opposite way from arduino to asp you can do any way you want you can send string you can send value you can send in a variable okay this is all about our video today if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel to see our new upcoming project and I will recommend you to subscribe because we are going to complete our next inch my screen playlist, which we are going to to cover all this uh, toolbox here. As you can see, we are going to cover each one one by one. And thank you for your watching.